Hey everybody, so today we have here is the A1708 2017 MacBook Pro 13 inch and we got another liquid spill and we have another problem with the keyboard. The whole keyboard is so sticky you can't even click it. You hear that? It's so sticky you can't click it like any of the keys. So it must have gotten like absolutely everywhere on the keyboard here. Uh, the good thing is though it does turn on which is great. It's just really the keyboard needs to be fixed. This is the one with the butterfly switches that do have the problem with any like dust or food getting underneath it already. So you add a liquid spill to this and it's just going to make it worse anyway. So um, yeah, we're just going to open it up, dip it underneath. Um, the good thing about this one though, it doesn't have a touch bar. So we don't have to worry about the touch bar being dipped because ultrasonic should just take care of everything by itself anyway. So let's just go do that. Um, let's go pop it up, see what the damage is actually. What we want to do is because if we just do it now, we're going to have a problem with here. So, you see that the battery's right here. So, we want to, and the thing is with the battery is it's glued. Do we, we don't have to remove this part because it's going to be right on the edge of where the keyboard is. You can kind of see that. It's going to be right there. So, we should be okay, but um, we definitely want to, want to remove this this piece and I know what's underneath here let's just remove the trackpad there's no reason to risk the trackpad so you see it just comes right out right when you don't do screws and yeah, trackpads are always really easy but this is the what we're worried about is the components here because if any of these chips if we if we remove the battery or if any of them get affected we could you know something bad could happen let's just say that so let's just leave that to the side so now we want to make sure we get this battery off and you could, might be able to see a little bit I guess not but we can pour a little bit of alcohol on both sides. I'm going to go this side and the back side. I really want this just to be working well, so. And we don't need to, we don't need to move both of these. I want to leave these alone. If you don't have to touch them, try not to. And you want to check to make sure it's just the glue sound but always make sure because we're really worried about this connection here and the one on the other side too so you don't want to totally just rip it off because it's not going to work like that but i think that might be good enough just for us to dip i guess let's just go dip it now and that's the next the last thing we need to do we do need to be careful because the battery is right in line if we go exactly on this line here exactly on this line that's a good measurement because you can kind of see it's almost exactly the same on both sides so if we go on this line here and cross over it's gonna work so you definitely want to do that um so we just need to really hold up the battery when we do it and yeah uh, we'll do that real quick and we'll be right back so we're taking the palm rest and we're going to be dipping it into what's called an ultrasonic and this ultrasonic it's going to be cleaning the actual palm rest itself. So it uses vibrations and they will be getting underneath the all the little components and all the little spaces that are that go for the keyboard itself there. And it's going to be cleaning it for us and uh, most of the time this will work totally well. 
Um, other times we've had to replace it if it's a worst case scenario, but we'll see how it's going to work out after we do this. Alright, so we're going to turn it on and you guys are going to be hearing this noise, the noise the ultrasonic actually makes while it's doing its work. You can see the ultrasonic did a really good job here. The keys weren't even being able to be pressed before. It's still the butterfly key switch, so it's still going to be a little bit flat. But it's really good though. So it's probably like brand new, honestly. So it did a really good job. Now we just need to see if it works. So let's just put back everything. We already put back the fan. And I did take this out, um, the audio jack. It's adhesive, but it's probably better because you don't want the, the really the heat or liquid really damaging the cables. It's always best to just do the best you can with this. Just try to remove um, as many things as you possibly can because you don't want that to be affected. So let's just finish putting it back together. So let's just go test the keys real quick. It seems everything's being pretty good. It's a good travel distance. It worked pretty well. Spacebar. Most important stuff. All right, so it all seems to be working. All right, guys. So another liquid spill solved by the ultrasonic. Um, does wonders for the keyboard. It's really great, fantastic. It's good as new. So. Um, Again, it's one of those things, if you get liquid damage on it, uh, we can repair them. We do a really good job with it. Uh, we've seen it now. It's It's been several times since we used ultrasonic cleaner on uh, not only just doing liquid damage for this, but for also covering this keyboard in particular with the butterfly key switch. It does go bad with even like the dust particles and dirt that gets underneath. When we use it with the ultrasonic cleaner, it does seem to clean it and it does seem to work after that as well. Yep, we hope to do a lot more of this. Um, not for the problems, but we like to help the, for the solutions. So. Um, I really hope you, go, you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. And we hope to see you in the next video. Um, please subscribe for more content just like this. We like to do a lot of liquid damage repairs, board level repairs, um, some talking points on anything that's been going on more recently in the tech world and uh, any information you guys should be aware of. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.